Hey, it's Dave, and um, I'm a bit late this week with the blog, uh, but you'll be pleased to see wearing something slightly different. Not the famous green shirt, um, uh, probably because it's in the wash. And it's Friday night, and just in from a lovely evening, uh, I had dinner with my friend Jose, uh, at one of my favourite restaurants has, which was great, although I hadn't actually been there for a couple of weeks, so it was really nice to have, uh, have my favourite lamb sheesh again. Um, it's been a busy old week, went to the Venice Carnival with Braddon while he was over from the USA and um, before I went I remember saying to Braddon that I wanted to dress up when I got there and what I didn't know was that when I said that he was thinking oh my goodness he's absolutely insane um, but of course once we actually got there and we saw all the people dressed up in carnival gear um, it turned out he wanted to dress up too so we got hats masks and capes and we had very um, a couple of very good evenings strolling around Venice in our finery uh, and even got asked, well he even got asked to have his picture taken. Um, I caught somebody taking my picture but nobody actually asked me to to pose with them but uh, it was great fun and yeah had a really cool day, uh, a really cool couple of days out there. Stayed in a very nice hotel on the Judecca, the Hilton, um, I can't remember what it was called now, something stucky and it was um, had a direct link, had a boat that went every 40 minutes from right near St Mark's Square at San Zachariah, which was great. Um, and a really, really nice new hotel, which I, I was really impressed with, because I'd only stayed, the places I'd stayed in Venice before were nice and pleasant, but kind of old with small rooms, and this was um, an old flour mill which had been completely done out about eight months ago, so it's pretty modern and swish, and much, much better value than staying in the centre of Venice, so if I, well, when I go back, because I really enjoy Carnival, so I intend to go back again and do that again, when I go back I'll definitely stay there again, it was cool. And, um, Went to see Sweeney Todd last weekend. Um, Braddon and Jose and I met up and we went to see the film. And I really enjoyed everything about the film except the music. It was a bit like Wicked for me, which, um, again, I enjoyed everything about that show except the music, apart from two songs, Popular and Defying Gravity. And it was very much the same with Sweeney Todd. Loved the look, loved the actors, loved the whole design of it all, loved the direction, thought it was great, the lighting, it was all fantastic but I just did not like the Stephen Sondheim songs, unfortunately. There were one or two which hit the tune for me, but most of it was too discordant for it to be pleasurable. And uh, consequently, although I, I enjoyed the experience, I, I never really need to, see, I never need to see that film again. But I thought Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter were fantastic, and I thought Tim Burton did an amazing job on it. Um, but just, no. And uh, after that, we tried to go to... Um, Ye old Cheshire Cheese on Fleet Street, because I thought it would be kind of fun to take Brendan to uh, to have dinner on um, on Fleet Street. And he was after fish and chips, but unfortunately they'd run out of fish and chips and they had stopped serving in the uh, in the restaurant by the time we got there, so that wasn't to happen. Um, and then the next day, met Jose again and went for dim sum in Chinatown, which anyone who knows me will know that dim sum is one of my favourite favourite meals. Um, and uh, yeah, went to a new new dim sum restaurant. I normally go to the New World, uh, which is kind of cranky and old fashioned, and they do the whole, the whole trolley thing where they take the steaming trolleys around, uh, and you have to flag them down, or they actually come up and quite quite aggressively <laughs> coerce you into having things that you don't like the look of. But this was a new place. I've completely forgotten the name of it, but I will go back. It was really nice food, and um, we tried to make the waitress smile throughout dinner and uh, she was or throughout lunch and she was having none of it. Uh, the nice thing about Chinatown was though because it's uh it's been the Chinese New Year this week, it was all dressed up in lanterns and everything and actually this weekend in London is um the Chinese New Year parade with the dragon dancers and everything so that'd be good. Um, and yeah back to work this week, carried on the Spice Tour trundles on in North America. Um, the girls are in New York this week, although they're not performing tonight or tomorrow. Um, big show on Sunday, but everything's going really well out there. So, And we moved at work this week, which, although I've only been um, at 19 for about five months, four, 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 five months, it's amazing how settled you get, because the team and the department I was in, which is 19 Digital, has been split up and redeployed because they think, you know, the people that write should actually be with the communications team, and um, the people that do the um, sort of project management should be together in a different place. So we've all been divided up, and it's it's amazing how, in such a short space of time, um, I really felt part of what was a really nice team there. I guess it's not amazing because, as I say, really good people to work with, 
and it feels sort of strange being separated away. Um, but exciting also to be working with new people, so I'm looking forward to getting to know all the people around me in my new area. Um, although, um, with the tour coming to a close at the end of this month, and me only um, contracting to work until the end of March, uh, it won't actually be my new home for very much longer. But uh, everybody I've met so far in the new area seems great, and they've all been really friendly and helpful. So. Next week will be interesting. I hope my friend Jay is better. He's been off all this week, so uh, we've missed him in the office um, these last couple of days that I've been in. And uh, he's not been very well at all, so I'm wishing him well. Hope he gets well soon. And hopefully the gang will all be back together again on, um, on Monday uh, and we can experience the new office together. And that's about it for me. I've had a busy old three weeks and I've got very few plans this weekend, which I think is for the best. I'm going to lie pretty low, get back to the gym, um, read the book I'm meant to be reading for book club which I scandalously have only read a few pages of and get a haircut because as you can see for me <laughs> this is really long I know for most people it's not but actually for me that is long hair um, so yeah I'm off tomorrow to get it cut although embarrassingly the hairdressers seem to think I had an appointment today because they called me this afternoon and said, oh, your appointment at 2.15. And I said, yep, 2.15 tomorrow. And she said, uh, it was 2.15 today. And I've just realised that she told me a new time for tomorrow. And strangely for me, I didn't write it down. Um, I was about to enter it into my iPod, which has a diary function on it. And then something happened at work and I got caught up. And now I'm realising I don't actually know the time of my appointment tomorrow. So I will write a note now to ring the... Uh, the hairdresser first thing on Saturday to find out what time I'm due there tomorrow. I think it's early afternoon. I'm pretty certain it's afternoon and not morning because I know I needed to lie in and then I'll trundle off to the gym after I wake up. So yeah, I mustn't forget to do that. And now I'm off to uh, relax and watch some TV and uh, edit some video from the last few weeks. Okay, uh, more soon. Alright, bye.